It hasn't yet been approved for sales, but just the idea of powdered alcohol has launched a national backlash against the product and the company that is trying to market it, Lipsmark. Hi, I'm Bruce Lee Livingston, Executive Director and CEO of Alcohol Justice. Hi, I'm Mark Phillips, the creator of Pelcohol. Lipsmark's owner, Mark Phillips, blatantly ignores the dangers his product poses to underage drinkers. He rationalizes his product with rhetoric about consumer convenience. But don't be fooled. If and when his product hits the market, youth will easily find it and harm will follow. Palcohol is some kind of powdered alcohol that dissolves in liquid and will be sold in juice squeeze containers. Palcohol is portable and promises to get you drunk at the movies, theaters, sports arenas, and even on airplanes. It's an alcohol product that could have had your neighborhood liquor store going dry. Palcohol, a powder dissolvable alcohol, was reported to have gained federal approval. But it turns out regulators say the approval was a mistake. And even before the federal pullback, the product was stirring up controversy. Palcohol offers a bar full of products, all in packet form. Products range from powdered vodka and rum to Cosmos and lemon drop cocktails. The line was dreamed up by Arizona wine expert Mark Phillips. Phillips gives tips to wine lovers on his website. It's a lot of fun. It's way cool. But when it comes to the Palcohol line, not everyone is giving it a warm reception. Addiction counselor Vera Mart says she believes the easy-to-dissolve powdered alcohol is a disaster waiting to to happen. Oh, I can't believe anybody would even think of letting it come on the market. Gaining almost as much attention as the product itself was its federal approval. I'm quite astonished that this got approved. Um, in the past, and really to this day, the agency that regulates this tends to be quite careful. That agency is the U.S. Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau. It gave approval to Palcohol's product labels, the last step after okaying both the distillery and the formula. But late yesterday, a spokesman told CBS News those approvals were issued in error. And Palcohol's parent company, Lipsmark, says the problem seems to involve a discrepancy in the fill level of the powder in each bag. The company says it will resubmit the levels for approval. Senator Schumer, a Democrat from New York, has asked the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, to ban this product, Palcohol. Schumer wants the FDA to step in because of potential health risks. Today, I'm urging the FDA to get with it, get rid of this stuff before our kids can use it before it's too late. The company wants to sell kamikaze, lemon drop, and cosmopolitan palcohol packets. Among other dangers, Schumer and other critics say it would be too easy for children to get their hands on this new form of alcohol. The current alcohol justice action alert on palcohol is generating many responses, including the following comments. Judy G says, as a parent, grandparent, and mental health professional, I implore you to support Senator Schumer's efforts to ban this insidious, dangerous product. This one comes from Kathleen L. As a public health practitioner who works in preventing alcohol, tobacco, and drug abuse among youth, how many ways can it be said that powdered alcohol is a terrible idea? These predatory industries never cease to amaze me with their callous disregard for the health of others. Marcy B. says, as a parent, I am urging you to prohibit powdered alcohol. Allowing powdered alcohol is a recipe for underage abuse and fatal poisoning. Please do the right thing for our kids and our society. Take action. Join the conversation. Let your regulators and legislators know this product should be banned. Every level of federal and state government should take action. The FDA should ban powdered alcohol as a dangerous food additive the TTB should permanently disallow the labeling of powdered alcohol as its potential uses can never be fully communicated. The FTC should investigate questionable advertising claims that Lipsmark has already used and is currently using to promote it and put them on strict notice. Congress and the President need to empower the FDA to regulate the harm of alcohol directly as it does already for tobacco and for other drugs. Click on the link below. And at the end of this video, send your message supporting public health and safety. Let's put an end to this stupid product before it can do any harm.